OK. Um, so what I'd like to do here is show you how to simplify the division of 5 plus i divided by 2 minus 3i. And what we're going to just do for this problem is remember, ladies and gentlemen, we do not want to have our imaginary numbers in our denominator of our rational expression. So what we talked about to eliminate this is to multiply by what we call the conjugate. And we first learned that when we were dealing with radicals, right? Remember, we couldn't have radicals in our denominator. But you just remember, when it's a binomial, you're going to want to multiply by the conjugate, which is the exact same binomial, but now with the opposite term. So instead of it minus, it's now add. So now we know the reason why we multiply by the conjugate, what's so helpful about this, is when we multiply, the, multiply out this binomial, do you guys want me to multiply both of them out, or can I simplify the bottom? It's OK if I kind of go quickly on the bottom? Because it's a difference of two squares, right? So remember, difference of two squares, if I have a plus b times a minus b, that just simply is a squared minus b squared, right? If you have the exact same numbers, but one's positive and one's negative, it just turns into a squared minus b squared because the middle terms cancel out. So therefore, what I'm going to have is 4 minus um, 9i squared. And we'll simplify that in just a second. Um, up top here, though, I do need to apply FOIL. So I'm going to write this all out so you guys can see. So I'll have 10 plus 15i plus 2i. And then this is going to become plus 3i squared. All right, now I'm going to, I'm going to work on simplifying this in just a second. So now the next thing we need to understand is we can combine our i's. We can combine our like terms up here. But we need to remember that i squared, we remember last, the last video, i squared represents negative 1. So what I'll do is I'll represent negative 1 in for there. And this is 4 minus 9 times negative 1. So therefore, now what I have is this turns into negative 1. So it's 7 plus 7i. This becomes positive over um, 13. Then if you want to rewrite it in a, as a complex number, complex number, complex form is always a plus bi. So if I want to write this in a plus bi, yes? 17i. Oh, up top? Oh, I just didn't see that. Yeah, it'd be 17i. Thank you. I don't know where I, uh, I guess I just didn't see the 1. So yeah, it's 7 plus 17i divided by 3. So therefore, in standard form, it would be 7 over 13 plus 17 over, why am I writing? Yeah, over 13. i. OK, so you can just distribute that to both terms. OK? Huh? Perfect. All right, so one more, and then Ronnie gets to, to rest.